everybody, Sir Tap here, and the Abyssrium Expand update should be out for everybody. It sort of popped up for some people a day or two early, and I finally got it yesterday. And, um, nothing too unexpected. Um, I haven't really updated the guide quite yet because I wasn't sure what to say about it. But basically how it works is now this um, serious menu in the, uh, the palette menu here. Um, you can now expand your terrain and you get a free little hexagon of terrain and you get a free little seaweed and a free little rock. And um, the items are a little bit expensive all things considered. Um, the way that the you get, the, there's this new currency and it's called pearls. And the way you get pearls is you complete these daily events. Uh, most of the daily events aren't too bad. Play for 60 minutes, uh, watch five ads, use five skills, which is, uh, that's, I complete that within like one minute. You know, cast your three skills, watch an ad, cast three skills. Share five pictures, not too bad at all. 5,000 taps, which I think that one's a bit excessive. Um, after trying this a couple days, I honestly think, uh, I think the finger warm up should be more like 1,000. 5,000 is a lot. I. I was kind of in a rush to try and try this out and see if there's anything interesting to put in the guide. Um, my wrist was hurting after 5,000 taps. That's that's kind of a lot for you know a fairly short session. Um, and the 60 minutes, uh, it's not insane, but for a game that's you know, for what I do when I open the game usually is I pop in here, open my menu, cast my three skills. Um, if I'm in the mood, maybe I'll watch the ad, cast the three skills again, um, upgrade my stuff, and then I'm out. You know, it, it takes well under a minute, so I, I think maybe a thousand taps and 30 minutes for the uh, for these would be a bit more sensible, but they're not completely outrageous either. So once you complete these, you can click Acquired. Um, this one gets you Vitality. This one gets you 10 minutes of Spirit of Life, which is double Vitality, and also double Event Currency, which is quite a nice reward. I also really like that you get 10 levels of Coralite and 10 levels of all of your Coral, even the expensive ones, for Ad Mania. And this one just gives Vitality again. The amount of Vitality you get, it's like a photo quest. It's basically nothing. Um, also, don't forget to check when you, when you upgrade your levels. Um, it doesn't auto get the double vitality bonus, so you might want to check in there every once in a while to upgrade your corals. Corals don't really matter too much where I'm at in the game, but, um, you know, I still like to check on them once in a while. There is, uh, there's the bonus, the vitality bonus for getting a crap ton of coral levels. Um, so once you get your pearls, it's five, it's 50 a day. It's only 50 a day. There does not seem to be any way. Uh, I check the shop. I check magic. Um, nothing to do with pearls in here. Nothing in the shop here. Oops, Parker. <laughs> um, my cat just tried to open the mystery chest. Um, glad he didn't try to buy something. Um, there is, oh, the Midas Tap is a bit more useful now. The Midas Tap does actually count towards the daily bonus thing. It does not count towards most other things. It does not count towards the achievements. Um, it does not count towards fish unlocks. But it does count, at least I don't think it counts for fish unlocks. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have it to test. Um, also, it says daily mission is reset at 4 every morning. It resets at noon for me. So I'm kind of suspicious that the My My unlock in this game seems really buggy, and it says 4 a.m. So I'm kind of wondering if it's not 4 a.m. Oh no, it's 0 a.m. No, it was the seahorse. The, wasn't there a seahorse that's 4 a.m.? Hmm. Yeah, but I'm wondering if those times aren't their time. But I thought the seahorse. I got. I thought I got the seahorse by cheating the clock. Anyway, that's kind of off topic. I'm just. It's so weird. The the localization is still pretty shoddy in this game. It's kind of a shame. But yeah, once you get your pearls, you can go into expand. Um, this is one thing I don't really like. There's these, the castles and the craters, um, which are more like, uh, you know, heat vents. Um, those cost the same currency as these purely cosmetic items. So I can either buy a large onion coral for 50 things, or I could buy something that actually improves my Coralite vitality by 
So, <laughs> obviously, until I'm done with these, I'm probably gonna only buy the ones that are, you know, non-cosmetic. And they're not significantly cheaper either. I would understand if it was like one pearl for a, you know, pearly cosmetic seaweed, and like, you know, 30 pearls for something that actually does something, but nope, their costs are completely in line with each other, which is strange. Uh, so yeah, I can't see myself upgrading those other ones too much, but... 20%? Oh, that's not bad. I was kind of wondering how much this would level up. I wanted to save that for the video. So I've got two days worth of pearls here. So the cost kind of rises a little bit. Uh, I think my first... The first time I bought it, it cost 30. Well, it cost 36. So yeah, you have to upgrade your crater to... Uh, to get this crater M and L, and you can kind of move these around. This click target, by the way, is way too small um, and way too close to the purchase button. Um, but this actually zooms in on the thing and you can move it around. So this is how the expand update works. It works pretty much like the video. The video they showed really does show just about all you really need to know. I do appreciate that you can kind of, you can rotate things. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, how does this work? Oh, oh, it has fixed angles. Oh, that's a little less exciting, but still neat. So I kind of like the leave that up there. And so it's like it's like a little baby coralite. But yeah, that's basically the gist of it. I I was really excited. I wanted to. There's these cool arches and pillars. I wanted to make like a big fancy like a Roman like palace sort of thing with those you know those columns you know all down like a lane or whatever. Um, but that would actually be really expensive. So I think eventually people will make some really cool stuff with this. But the problem is you get 50 pearls a day, which isn't too bad really. Because I mean, you know, it's, I've been playing this game how many days? It's in my achievements. Um, achievements. Yeah, I've been playing almost 200 days. But the problem is I didn't get pearls for, you know, 90... 190 of those days so it's like it's a cool it's especially a cool feature if you're just getting started here but as somebody who's played for a long time i do feel a little bit like i missed a bit of a train here but i have noticed that um all right one last feature uh completely unrelated to expand but um the level caps for the skills and two of the artifacts got raised to 21 for skills and 20 for remains of a nautilus and mystic shell the glowing conch you can't shorten the cooldown by any more than 50 percent that would have been a bit cheap if you could have a zero percent cooldown time um but yeah i upgraded my song of the moon and my delicious food um i have noticed vitality getting pretty significantly faster um it's just like three four casts of the skills again it used to be about 10 so I do think CS and DL Vitality are a bit closer now. It's not like crazy fast, but um, it does feel they smoothed out the difficulty, which is something the game needed. Um, all in all, I think it's a good update, but it's not a super exciting one. It's like, it's something you're gonna have to play for weeks to really fully get the benefit out of and really be able to, to place everything. And I also re I really wish the cosmetic things were either a separate currency or just a lot cheaper than um, than the ones that you know matter for vitality for gameplay because you know I really want this crater L and I mean I need to level up holy crap that's gonna be I'm gonna guess this is gonna take months of freaking stuff to fully upgrade to L and I don't even know how high of the levels go but level 20 for the crater M. Like, that's kind of nuts. Um, yeah, I do like some of the options they have. You know, they've got nice looking coral. And they have, like, brand new. I, I really like that they have a, a, um, some sea anemones you can place. Um, but it's like, when am I going to get to actually do that? Because I, I need to save my pearls for this. And it's a hard balance to walk, I guess, because, I mean, it's hard to make cosmetic stuff cost vitality, because, like, then what do you do with the ever-increasing vitality amounts? Do you make the cost increase? Do you, you know, but, I don't know. I guess my main gripes would be, there's only, you can only get 50 a day, and it's not inherently a problem, but it does mean it takes a really long time to actually build up anything cool. I mean, I've got three, after three days, this is all I've got. And I'm, you know, super far in the game otherwise, but I just got two free rocks, a little 
you know, drip of seaweed there and a crater, and that's all I got to show for it. My vitality is increasing a bit. You know, I've got my 30% uh, vitality bonus, which is quite nice, but visually speaking, you know, it's not much to look at. Um, and other than that, so yeah, the I do wish the the words I do wish the cosmetic stuff were either cheaper or a separate currency. Just I feel locked out of the cosmetic stuff. It does feel a bit too slow, and I, I do think the daily mission for the taps. And to a lesser extent, the time machine are a bit much. So like I said, I would cut that down to 1,000 taps. I mean, I honestly don't think I even tap 1,000 times on a normal day anymore. Because it's just not worth it. And it just, you know. Everything I do involves my wrists. So I don't really invite extra damage to my wrists. And the time machine, I think that could be... I think 30 minutes would make a bit more in line with these three. Because like these three, you can get these in like a couple minutes. This one obviously takes an hour, but you know, you can leave your phone on your charger and you know, just let it go, and it's not a huge deal, but it does seem a bit much. 5,000 taps, that's kind of, that's kind of wrist pain inducing. Oh, I forgot to get my reward. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Um, but yeah, you can get your reward once a day. Um, let's go spend those gems. I thought, I thought I got that. Um, but th <laughs> The cosmetic stuff wouldn't be too bad, I think, if it was totally separate. If I could buy a cosmetic thing and then a vitality thing, I think I would be good. You know, placing a new cosmetic thing every day, that would be fun. But it's like, when am I going to get to do that when I, you know, need to focus on my vitality? But, uh, pebble. I can buy one pebble, but oh well. I'm surprised there's no way to uh, use gems. You can use gems. Do not do this, but you can use gems to instantly complete these quests. It is so incredibly not worth it. Like, even for the finger warm-up. Um, like, 100 gems is a lot. Save that for the new skills. Oh, the new skills do increase in price. Like, Song of the Moon, they increase about a th 100 gems every upgrade, every upgrade past 11. Um, except this one seems to stay the same. I don't know. I haven't upgraded it because it's... It's really not worth it. In fact, I only actually upgraded this so I could get one of the fish. There's a fish that requires all the skills uh, to level 10. But yeah, that is the expand update. Um, I'll upgrade the guide, or I'll update the guide real soon here. But it's like, there's really not too much fancy. It's not too, there's nothing too mysterious about it, which I guess is good in a way, but it's a little less fun, in my opinion, at least as a guide maker. There's just not much for me to say about it. But, uh, that's what we're looking at for the expand update. Uh, I look forward to seeing what people do with their Coralite, but it's like, I guess we're gonna have to wait a while for people to bake anything super fancy, unfortunately. Cause you know, it takes a day just to buy a single large decoration. But, you know, it, it's a long run game, so I'm sure a month or two from now, people have some really cool stuff to show off, and I'm eager to see that. But, uh, until then, that's about what we can do in the Expand update. Hope everybody has fun.